world and we are here for another episode of Sunday night food prep with me coach Amir so guys tonight's episode first we will cover egg muffins that will have broccoli and mushrooms we're gonna add jalapenos and pepperoni as well so if you are logging watching this hit the plus sign share this and let's get more people better results in starting their week and definitely a healthy breakfast is going to be a great way to do that so making sure if you didn't see yesterday's bonus episode we had an awesome breakfast for you guys made out easy to make today we're going to add something else that was already planned so easy easy recipe egg muffins with broccoli and mushrooms so i have my eggs as usual we go with the organic eggs all right guys so making sure you are going organic so share this so we can organically get more people to see this post guys say what's up let us know where you're tuning in from and what's for dinner tonight or what is your breakfast for tomorrow for the week do you have a plan because if you don't have a plan chances are you're not going to get the results you want and then all of a sudden you're going to be skipping meals and when it comes to being like six o'clock at night you're like oh my god i only ate one thing all day well you got to make sure that doesn't happen you got to make sure you have meals ready to go and these egg muffins are at any time of the day but most importantly you can have them for breakfast so real quick we got our mushrooms all right so check it out guys come over here so we got our muffin tray so Guys, remember there's a big difference between muffin trays and cupcake trays. Cupcake trays are not as deep. So we're gonna take some coconut oil that we heated up, okay? And we're gonna rub the inside of that so our eggs don't stick, all right? And then, I already did the other one. from my man Chuck from TFW in Laurel. What's going on Chuck? So we got some turkey pepperoni guys here going into the bottom of the muffin tray. We put coconut oil so it won't stick. All right. We've got 18 eggs and a quarter cup of milk in here. Our broccoli, we already steamed it for a couple minutes. protein while we cook. All right. Get my broccoli. All right. I'm put my broccoli in, in here. So we're going to be making cauliflower rice as well. So I'm going to save some of the broccoli maybe for that. We'll see what we got left over. not too big of pieces in here. Guys, if you're tuning in, say what's up, share this post, get more people getting healthy breakfast. In. So we got another, another tray over here. Let me make sure we fill both of these guys up. Doing some bicep work while we break up this broccoli. So 
Guys, what's for dinner at your house tonight? We got some beef that we've already cooked up. We got cauliflower rice I'm gonna make right now while this is in the oven. All right. So, here we go, we got our broccoli mixed in here. So our broccoli we did pre-cook just a little bit because we do not want to have tough, tough broccoli when we eat the omelets. So we got our eggs here, guys. Big bowl of egg yolks. So if you are trying to lose weight and you think that eating just egg whites is gonna be the key, you wanna have the yolks. There's a lot of nutrients in the yolk and if your cholesterol is bad, it's probably not because you're eating too much egg yolks. That's just the truth. So, get a nice mix here. Get this out of the way. So, we got our mushrooms going in. So, I bought the mushrooms pre sliced because I don't want to have to worry about taking the time to do that as I prep for you guys. Get fancy with the uh, pre-sliced mushrooms for you guys getting lazy. So whatever mushrooms I'll have left over will go into my cauliflower rice as well. So easy guys, the cauliflower rice, if you've never seen us make it, we've made it in a bunch of episodes, but it's really just taking whatever leftover vegetables you have and uh, putting that in there. So guys, we're like, we're pretty much almost done here. I'm gonna grab my jalapenos. I am going to chop them up really fine. If you don't like spicy, don't put in jalapenos. It's really simple. So we've got turkey pepperoni, broccoli, mushrooms, and now the egg batter will go in. If you wanna put in a little bit of cheese, you can. A little bit of cheese doesn't mean covering it and soaking it in cheese, it means a sprinkle of cheese. Okay guys, remember, the idea behind this is to have portion control, all right? So if I'm putting 18 eggs in, I'm gonna make 10. So, well I'm sorry, I got 16 eggs. No, I have 18 eggs, I'm sorry. So I'll make 10 to 12 muffins, all right? So that'll say about one and a half eggs per muffin so I'll have about two muffins as a serving and that'll give me my vegetables as well all right so understanding portion control this is what the food prep is helps as well it allows you to portion control your meals so you'll see as we finish the show you're gonna see that we're gonna have chicken done the chickens already done I can bring it out the pesto chicken Zucchini, little baby zucchini and string beans right here. That's gonna go with some balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper, that's gonna go in the oven next while the eggs are in the oven. And we've got beef already cooked as well. So guys, that's like our week and breakfast and a couple lunches until Wednesday or Thursday. And now we're set with ready to go meals, not just a bunch of food made or a bunch of food bought, because if you're not menu prepping, then you're gonna not be able to meal prep. You have to understand what is it that you wanna have throughout the week, plan it out, go to the market and get those things necessary to make the things on your list instead of just buying a bunch of random stuff at the supermarket and be like, all right, what are we gonna make? All right, so, all right. I'm gonna, you know, jalapenos. Alright, 
All right, get my cutting board. So make sure you clean out the seeds so you don't make it too spicy. And how you do that, if you haven't seen it before, you just take the knife, stick it through the middle, right, and then start turning it inwards. And cut the veins and the seeds out. Start pushing it out. And there you go. Throw it into the sink real quick. Let us know where you're watching from. I see a couple. I see there's people signed on here. I don't see any questions. I don't see anybody saying what's up. Let us know where you're, where you're tuning in from. What are you guys having for dinner, guys? If, you, if you're not playing, or what did you have for dinner? Because it's eight o'clock already. You should have eaten. If you didn't, we're just used to eating really late. You get home from the gym really late at night, but. Alright, so cut my jalapenos up really fine. Again, guys, the recipe is based on you can make this any which way you want. You know, you can you don't have to do broccoli and mushrooms. You can do tomatoes and peppers. You can do onions and whatever. Onions and peppers. You can get creative with it. These are so easy to make. You can really put whatever vegetable you want in there. Now let's not go crazy. You don't want to put like corn or anything like that where it's starchy, but you know. Put a green vegetable, put asparagus, which also may wilt, but if you don't cook it through all the way, then it should hold. So, got our jalapenos are going in right now. Guys, so say what's up, let us know, where are you tuning in from? I see just my buddy Chuck and Amanda, who is our TFW rock star, but who else is tuning in? Let us know, guys. Say what's up. Let us know what you'd like us to make in the future. What is it that you're ha What's the meal that you have trouble with? Is it is it bringing food to work? Is it getting home after the gym? Is it that post workout meal? That pre workout meal? Do you need a pre workout snack? That's a good one. I got some good ideas for you guys. We can share those in a later episode. What is it that you need, guys? That's what this is all about. Trying to help you figure out solutions to get you better results and usually it starts with nutrition I'm not gonna lie you know if you're training hard in a good environment and you're seeing that you're plateauing chances are it's because you are not eating the right way so we got a question from Lisa what's up I'm here yeah what's up Lara there you go Lara is saying what's up she's from Laurel guys you can see that guys familiar is what it's all about so we're trying to help you guys, and this will allow them to share with their students. And hey, now everybody's winning because when everybody shares, everybody wins. A guy by the name of Martin Rudy taught me that. So, here's our jalapenos. We're gonna put in our egg batter. All right, let's hope not to spill here. So one. Ew. These are going to be really fluffy eggs. I didn't beat these enough, I'm not going to lie. So we got, we got nine out of that. That makes sense. 
anyway, the idea is we have food prepped. And guys, that's already a head start of where most people are that aren't doing anything to get their week started off on the right note. So, we're going to throw these suckers in the oven. I'm going to take out the vegetables from here and put them in the pan for the cauliflower rice. cauliflower rice we're gonna make sure that oh thank you Alexandria snack recipes I'll give you a great one but yeah absolutely guys so we're gonna wait for the pan to heat up a little bit so we're gonna use grapeseed oil all right And we're going to take the mushrooms, broccoli, and jalapenos from the extra muffins and drop them in here. We'll have some pepperoni in there also. We'll have a little extra protein in our... Alright, so, muffins are going in. They're going to go in for... 25 minutes, so they get a nice crust on the bottom, alright, that's that, now we're going to make our cauliflower rice guys, it's going to be super easy, so look we already dropped in some vegetables, we're going to put in the leftover mushrooms, alright, I got yellow zucchini, yellow squash, whatever you want to call it. Let's chop that up really quickly for you guys. Fall is almost here. We're going to start making some fall meals for you guys. Make it a little bit more exciting. We'll do some squashes. Washes and some squats. What else? We got any more questions, guys? Let us know. Where are you tuning in from? Say what's up. I know we got a bunch of viewers. So next, we will find you a good, healthy snack recipe. If you want that snack recipe as a pre-workout snack recipe or a after dinner as a smoothie it is one of my favorites. Dixon's for a healthy snack. And if you don't have time to make a smoothie in the middle of the day, then what you're going to do is you're going to make a smoothie and put it into ice cubes. And you take those ice cubes with you in the morning. And by the time they melt, you'll have a smoothie. Guys, be careful when you're chopping. All right. Let's see any more questions? Let's see. Hi, Amir. What's up, Coach? What's that, Amanda? I don't know. Guys, let us know where you're tuning in from. What is your dinner or breakfast? So remember, even though we're making the cauliflower rice right now, we are also making a egg muffin that's in the oven right now that I will post in a couple minutes when it is done. But in the meantime, guys, let's get a Q&A real quick going. Let us know. If you have any questions on what your meal should look like or what's the best way to do this, guys, so you see 
see we got like three or four things going on at the same time, always, every Sunday night. We're always trying to get as much going as possible. So we got two kinds of squash that we're going to have for the week. One is going to be our rice. One is going to be cooked. The mini bikini, if you've ever tried it, it's really, really good. And then we will have whole piece of vegetables to have them to size. And then every day we're going to start with a whole nutritious breakfast. So, something I can have to go. Hard boiled eggs. Hard boiled eggs is, is a great thing on the go. Or, go to the supermarket, buy carrot sticks, buy radishes, buy celery, buy either little hummus packets or guacamole packets, and take that on the go. Keep a cooler in the car. Sorry guys, it's a little hot. Keep a cooler in the car and take that on the go. That's a great, great healthy snack. Peppers, cucumbers, um, carrots like we said, cherry tomatoes, little cherry tomatoes. Guys, that's simple, something simple you can just throw in a bag, you know, take some mixed nuts, as well, some cashews, almonds, you know, take that in a bag. Chuck, I love that you're gonna try this. You're gonna love it, it's delicious, it's super easy. And your kids will like it, it's different. You can plate it up with some salsa on top of it if they want some, you know, or ketchup, you know, kids like ketchup. But you know what, it's better than giving them pancakes or bacon and eggs. So, all our vegetables are cooked. We're gonna season it with some salt. Woo! You gotta, you gotta run away. Don't try this at home. Alright, so salt. Pepper. Alright, so now because this week we're not really doing any Asian style cauliflower rice, right? we're gonna put a little paprika in here. in the world. Guys, if you don't have a Trader Joe's by you, you should sue your town. What tempo? Uh, 375, Chuck. 375 for tw about 20 minutes. So, if you don't have a Trader Joe's, go online and find a way to order rice, cauliflower, if you're lazy like me. Otherwise, use your food processor. <laughs> but, guys, this makes it so much easier and it's already two cups, exactly what I want. So, I'm gonna throw this into our pan. Don't use your teeth like me. Um, and we're gonna I love this stuff, guys. This is like, I, I stopped eating rice for a long time, obviously, because rice is not the best thing for you. And this has been the best substitute ever, because you can really play with this. If I had more eggs, I'd drop some more eggs in here. But you get the idea. The idea is you're making it creative. I'm going to chop up some parsley. And no problem, Chuck. I'm going to chop up some parsley to finish that off with. Like I said, normally I could maybe drop some eggs in there. And that's it. It's over. And I'm going to post a picture of the eggs, guys. We have been on for 25 minutes. Thank you guys so much. Any questions, comment below. Share this. Like this. Give me thumbs up. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Alright? Give me some thumbs up. Let's share this. Let's love it. Let's get people eating healthy, guys. This is like the biggest thing people are missing is, is proper nutrition. All right, I'm telling you it works. You know why it works? Because I got tested at the Training for Warriors Summit last week 
and I'm down to 11% body fat. That didn't happen by accident. That happened, thanks Chuck. That happened with hard work, guys. That happened with hard work consistently. Doing this 14 weeks in a row, hey, obviously look at the results. So, guys, I promise you, just take the first step. The egg muffins, boom. Start your breakfast off right, complete, nutritious meal. Guys, Coach Amir, Training for Warriors, Long Island. Thank you so much. Episode 14 is over. Have a good week.